multiplying terms. So what's 3 times 3? Well, that's 9. What's another way to write 3 times 3? Well, that's just 3 squared, because we know 3 squared is also 9. What's another way to write 3 times 3 times 3? Well, that's 3 to the power of 3. And the same goes for prime numerals. If we have x times x, it's very similar looking to this one up here. 3 times 3 is 3 squared. So x times x is x squared. x times x times x is x cubed. That's nice and easy when the prime numerals are the same, but what happens when they're different? x times y, well that's just xy. Because remember, in algebra, when we have multiplication, we can just write the terms next to each other. So a times c times b is a, b, c. Multiplying different terms together, we can just write next to each other, but usually in alphabetical order. That's why I wrote a, b, c instead of a, c, b. a, c, b would also be correct, but we just like writing it in alphabetical order. What happens when we have a times b times a times c? Well, we know a times a is a squared. Then we can just write bc. We just write the terms all next to each other because that means multiplication. What about 3a times 4a? So this time we've got some coefficients. We've got a coefficient of 3 and a coefficient of 4. We deal with them first. 3 times 4 is 12. Then a times a is a squared. What about 2x times 3y times 4x times 2y? Let's deal with all the coefficients first. We've got 2 times 3 times 4 times 2. We can do them in any order, maybe 3 times 4 first, which is 12. Then 12 times 1 of the 2s, which is 24, times the other 2, which is 48. Now, prime numerals. Let's go in alphabetical order, x comes before y, x times x, well x times x is x squared, y times y, well that's just y squared, and c. When we have all terms that are being multiplied with each other, we should end up with one term in the end. What about minus 4x times minus 3x? This time we've got a negative times a negative, and a negative times a negative, remembering our integer rules, gives us a positive, and 4 times 3 is 12, so we get positive 12. Then deal with the prime numerals, x times x is x squared. Minus 7x times 8y. Well here I've got a negative times a positive, Following our integer rules, we know this is going to be a negative answer. 7 times 8 is 56. And x times y, well, they're not the same, so we just have to write x, y. One more. 6x times minus 7a. Positive number times a negative number from our integer rules gives us a negative number. 6 times 7 is 42. And x times a, well, they're not the same, so we're just going to write them next to each other, but in alphabetical order, so a, x. Okay.